welcome to our second lesson on shear and there is a diagram here that uh, i will try to explain how it comes about uh, we have a a is point negative six five going to a prime which is negative six negative four we have a there negative six five it is going to a prime now what do we get from here from a to a prime there are five steps here and there are four steps so the total number of steps parallel to y-axis are nine up to here there okay then how far is a from invariant line this is our invariant line so it is six okay then you get scale factor 1.5 so once we have scale factor 1.5 now it applies across all the points b is here it will do the same movement same direction downward with respect to the diagram because they are on one side of the invariant line so what do we do we ask ourselves this b has to move to a new place this is a movement how far is b from invariant line four steps so this movement over the vertical distance gives you scale factor 1.5 Therefore, the movement is six steps. You count from B, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? Now, A and B, A and B are on one side of the invariant line. So, how, what about C, which is on the opposite side? Remember the lever system in physics, Kroeber, CISO, when effort goes on one side, the load goes on the opposite side. Okay? So, these two have shown with blue their movements down. But this will be the opposite direction. But I have just to understand how does it come about. Let us focus down here. Focus down here. We don't know where C is going. But the movement, we can say it is C, C prime. So C, C prime, divided by the vertical distance. How far is C from invariant line? Three steps. Is equal to scale factor 1.5. Implying C, C prime is 4.5. Okay? So, we count from C four and a half steps. Really, I'm using boxes in my counting. So, four boxes and a half. After that, you get position of C prime. Then join A prime, B prime, C prime. You'll get a figure like this. It's very interesting. You can see this point and this point. They have not changed. They were both in the object and also in the image. We call invariant point. Now, how do we write the matrix? The matrix is in the form of 1K01. The one which is invariant to x-axis will be 1, 0, diagonal 1, then K as my scale factor. So this is x-axis invariant, this is y-axis invariant. Note, in y-axis Point J does not change, so you maintain its position 0, 1. In X uh, uh, axis invariant, I does not change, you maintain. So maintain the position of I and J accordingly. Then remember, this is diagonal 1. In stretch, we have diagonal 0. In shear, diagonal 1. Then put your scale factor. So this is our shear matrix. I hope you will go through this again on your own, understand the procedures, 
copy this work and do it again on your own bye bye for now that's the end of shia